Good afternoon. Back to France and Joe's. And Miss Sutton here, is he behind me? Already cooking the first batch. Okay, as I promised, Saturday night. Give me some night. Okay? Very easy. First of all, you want pork minced as lean as possible. Okay? You then want Chinese cabbage. A couple of handfuls. The amount that you put in is personal. You want ideally Chinese mushrooms. Couldn't get any hold of any. So we're going to put some of those just normal white mushrooms chopped finely. As everybody knows, I love garlic. So there's about two, I suppose, yeah, two, two cloves there. Chopped in, the same with the ginger. Chopped in, a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. Right, we now want some black sesame oil. One teaspoon-ish. Same, either sake, I tend to use rice wine vinegar, it has the same effect. Can you keep an eye on those cooking pieces though? Okay. Right, we we'll put a couple of those in. Right, last but not least, soy sauce. Okay, again, uh, I don't tend to measure, I just do a lot by eye, as Isabel will tell you. Right, okay, that's the main ingredients all into the bowl. You get your hands in there, and you mix. Mix. Make sure it's nice and mixed up. Unless you want to, all those flavours to go through, particularly the oil, because that's what gives it the, that wonderful smell. Okay, now that's looking, that's looking good. See? There we go. That's the base for your Goya dumplings. Next thing you do, okay, is you take a Goya dumpling wrap. Put it on thing. This is what they are. Okay, Goya dumpling wraps. That's what I'd use. You dip your fingers in the water. Oops. And it's running away with me. Huh. People always say making dumplings in dim sum is very, very time consuming and fiddly. And quite frankly, I'm just about to show you it's not. Right? So you want about a teaspoon, approximately. Roll it into an oval shape. Stick it into the middle, like so. Pull it over. Let's turn this round so you can see. Right, like that. Turn it over into a little moon shape. Squash it very gently down. Then go from the outside. Round, around, around, around. Gently pushing down so you've got the air coming out. And there you go, guys. One Goya dumpling in its uh, raw form. Let's cover that over. The flies are here, even though it's not that hot. How are those doing, Isabel? They're fine. They cooked? I'm not sure. I don't know. Okay, let's put that to one side. Let's see what we've got in the pan. Let me have a look. They look perfect. Okay. Could you pass me a seat? Right, the way to cook, actually cook them is, is easy. You put some, a little bit of oil in, some vegetable oil or some flour oil, into a pan, you make it very, very hot, and then basically brown them slightly on one side, twist them over, to, twist them over, <sighs> been here too long, turn them over, and then You add a little bit of water, which will bubble up and steam. But put a cover over the pan, so that because you want the meat to be cooked. Uh, they only take about a couple of minutes or so. Three minutes. Three, maybe four minutes to actually cook. Some of these are not quite as brown as they should be. Uh, Right, okay. Now, right, Izzy, do you, want to get a, do you want to get a fork? Yep. No? A 
fork. That's a fork. That's a fork. Now, you can use whatever dipping sauce you want. Traditionally, you would use so just plain soy sauce. You can put uh, a little bit of chopped up ginger into that if you want. Okay. Or you can do use a chilli sauce. Okay. Very hot. Now, is he going to test? Hot, 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 hot. And she's going to let you know what they taste like. Really disgusting. I'm kidding. Izzy's on form today. Funny. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, they're good? Brilliant. Yeah? Really good. Alright, do you want to give that to Elsa? Well, let me finish mine. <laughs> right, okay, do you want to give one to Elsa? You take over and Elsa? Elsa, who's, who's, who's my recording artist here, is going to also try one. You go, Elsa, careful, they're hot now. She's my best friend. And she's Izzy's best friend. And so, just so you can see that they eat my food as well. <laughs> hot. Yes. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Well, there you go. Oh, oh. <laughs> that's okay, it's okay. If you want the, the, the full details of the recipe, etc., look me up on Facebook, Emma Saturn. Alright? That's all for now. I'll see you on the next video. Bye!